Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your mid-August. Um, a lot of you, you want to make your mark in the world. You have a lot of potential and a lot of capabilities. Your capabilities to communicate, to effectively lead others, it's very strong. It's highly indicated. You have the drive, the stamina, the uh, ambition, and the passion to be making a lot of strides in your public, um, you know, in the public limelight, in the public sphere. And so I feel that some of you feel almost as if you're not given the opportunity to shine. You're not given the opportunity by other people for whatever reason. And, you know, it could be just a planetary transit, such as having to deal with, you know, that Saturn transit in your sign, which is, gonna, is not really there. And so one of the things that we want to think about when, as we're nearing this Saturn transit is uh, Saturn brings structure. It brings discipline. It brings opportunities for us to have to, you know, relay, rebuild, relay the bricks for our professional foundation. So success where you are kind of like launched into the world, it's going to be very slow in coming. And a lot of you have taken many detours the past three years when it comes to your career. Things just didn't go the way that you wanted. But in the process of zigzagging across the professional landscape, you're learning new skills, you're picking up ideas, and you're picking up knowledge about where people are supposed to be and you know what other people are doing and how they are uh, doing those things, regardless of whether or not they want to, how those things that other people are doing in your professional circle, how that ultimately leads them to the place that they are right now. So I feel like Saturn forces us to kind of pull back and really examine the gritty details. So for example, you might have somebody, you know, that, that you really look up to, somebody that you feel is the epitome of success. And you're seeing the end result. You're seeing them right now where they are. And you're thinking about, wow, I wish I could be like them. I wish like my career would flourish the way theirs is. Or I wish like I could influence that many people the way that they are. Um, such a great influencer in the world. And I feel like once you get into the nitty gritty details and once you have a conversation with them, they're going to tell you all the times that they have had doubts, all the setbacks that they have encountered, and all the times in their lives where they were forced to take up jobs that they did not like to get them to that, you know, next stage in their life. And they're going to tell you, you know, all the, the, the mishaps that they have endured. So I feel like you're only seeing the end result and you and it's something that you aspire to but you're not really seeing the path and the the obstacles and the roadblocks that were put in that person's place to force them to redefine to force them to persevere to force force them to really work hard to achieve to get the things that they they that are around them right now. And so this Saturn transit is really forcing you you guys where are we kind of cutting corners and where do we need to really devote our time and our energy doing something that might provide us with a little bit of a launching pad not so much everything that we wanted but it provides us with a launching pad stepping stones to get exactly what we want and I do feel financial security is a big big issue for many of you I do see a uh, career flourishing wanting your career to flourish Wanting to be in that place where you feel important, where you feel like your contributions are being recognized. I feel like a lot of you want that. You want that lasting legacy. You want to project your energy out into the world, but there have been a lot of roadblocks and obstacles preventing you from doing so. And so I, I feel that this energy is going to lift, but what you do, I would say for the next 12 months, is very, very crucial. And it might, you know, um, I, I feel like there are situations where we are going to need to slow down and be very realistic with our expectations. And you might slip into a position where you might have to, you know, work from the bottom up, from the bottom of the totem pole, just work your way up, rise, and, you know, eventually get where you need to be, okay? Um, the other thing I'm feeling is I feel like there is a water sign, so a Pisces, a Cancer, or a... Um, Scorpio that you are dealing with and this person is very very evasive so for some of you this is somebody you share financial resources with um, like an ex-partner 
For some of you, it is a current partner. For some of you, it could be like a member of the family. I feel that this person is very, very, um, they're a little bit cunning. And I feel that they're not being truthful about how much money they're making. They're not being truthful about, about like where their money is going. And so I see a lot of communication between you and this person. And they are telling you to really draw your boundaries with them. So that means, you know, don't get sucked into the sob story. And especially being very critical when you deal with this person so that they understand that you're not naive and that they understand that they can't pull one over you, okay? So keeping yourself very, very critical and objective when you are dealing with this person is going to be very true um, necessary this is somebody I feel for some of you a romantic partner and there has been lack of clarity lack of direction lack of truthfulness coming through from this person and so I do see this exchange between this in um, this con conversation or communication between you and this person and I feel that you need to really put your thinking cap on you need to read between the lines you need to not take things at face value and you need to really dig deep and understand what they're trying to tell you because I feel like the words that are coming out is not matching up to reality, okay? So I do sense that, you know, because we're on the tail end of the Saturn transit, those rose-colored glasses are coming off. You're seeing things objectively. You're seeing a situation very, very clearly. And you're no longer naive, you're no longer easily swayed by a sob story. And you are also not only looking at a situation, but you're carving out, you're drawing out, you know, possible scenarios that can happen with a specific course of action. You're being very smart, you're being very, very, um, it's like you're scrutinizing everything in a good way, because... In the past, you thought things were going to go this way and you were sure that it's going to lead only to one outcome. But now you're being a lot more mature, responsible, and also realistic. You're drawing out possible scenarios that one course of uh, you know action can go. And I do feel because of it, it has made you, this Saturn transit has made you into a very critical thinker. And... Um, has made you very very realistic so you know rather than just winging it like in the past winging exams winging a job interview winging things you're slowing down and you're really really being methodical you're planning things out you're laying guidelines and grids for yourself and I feel like some of you <clears throat> if you are in any type of a technical profession or even artistic profession so for example if you were an artist right in the past you just freestyle you start drawing now you're thinking more about the composition, how the piece fits together as a whole, and you're laying down, you know, a guideline. If you are a technical writer, you're laying out a writing guideline rather than just freestyle and um, writing whatever comes to your mind. You're structuring it. So your, your essays, your composition has a lot more transition sentences. It, it flows very smoothly. You're able to convey your idea very clearly and succinctly. And especially for those of you who are drafters, engineers, and things like that, I feel like you're doing very, very careful calculations as well. So I feel like the, the, the period of just winging it, you know, hoping for the best because ultimately you are very optimistic. And you will still do that from time to time when it comes to the little things. But before, you did it with the little things and the big things. But now, when it comes to those big things, you're not going to be, you know... Uh, impulsive anymore you're coming in with a clear guideline which I feel is something you really really need and I feel like if you want to you know um, ex exert your energy into the world make sure your plans are valid and make sure your lines are uh, your plans are feasible okay um, the other thing that I feel coming in for the next two weeks here oh and also keep in mind this is running from the 15th to the end of August okay the other thing that I feel coming into the picture here is a, a great need for you to engage with other people. So that means, you know, um, uh, people around you, if you are single, your friends, you know, people around you, they might all be coupled up. They might be doing couple things. Don't uh, sit on the sidelines of life. I, I feel like it's really good for you to make connections again. 
And then I also feel for many of you, a uh, casual relationship is being taken to the next level, which is really good. I'm happy to see this for you because I feel like relationship hasn't been so great, you know, the past few years, right? So I feel like a casual relationship, some somebody that you might have been casually dating, things are being taken to the next level. And I feel for many of you, you need to end one relationship before you start another, okay? So I feel some of you are separated starting new relationships and wanting to take that relationship to the next level, but you might not be completely divorced. And then I also feel some of you open relationships and you need to take, you need to, you know, figure out what you want to do with that open relationship before you can take another relationship to the next step. And so ending one relationship before we end another, it's always, always, always a good rule of thumb, okay? And I feel like for you, from your end, um, there is a really, really good hopes for new relationships. But I also feel for many of you, there are existing problems still in relationship sector that you need to really sort out and you need to decide, is it worth it? Is it worth staying? Is it worth the anguish? You know, is it worth the, the lack of trust? So really work on that and figure out where you need to go, okay? Um, they mention here, feeling a little bit claustrophobic in your home environment, wanting to branch out a little bit, uh, contemplating, what's my next move? Where am I going to live? Where am I going to go? What is that going to look like? And I feel like there's a lot of promise. There's a lot of potential. There's a lot of excitement brewing when it comes to, you know, new housing changes, new moves, and new areas that you're going to find yourself in. So I feel like that's keeping you very excited and it's keeping you very hopeful, keeping you very optimistic, which is good. And that's an area that you, you need to delve a little bit further because if it's making you excited, it's making you feel good. I feel like that can also be really good, okay? Um, a lot of higher education, People returning back to school. People, you know, have taken some time off to deal with, you know, possibly a lot of uh, turbulence during your Saturn transit. You are thinking about returning to school. You are taking additional courses. You are upgrading your skills. And you're realizing now how, you know, going back to school is really going to help you get where you need to be professionally. So I do see a lot of interactions from uh, institutions of higher education. So going in for interviews, scoping out, you know, a physical campus, for example. And I also feel interacting with a lot of uh, foreigners, people speaking foreign tongues or people from different cultural ethnic backgrounds as well. And um, towards the, I, I want to say like towards the end of this year, a lot of family reunions will be in the picture for you, okay? I mentioned this with Scorpios as well, but I feel like your energy is coming through. Um, I do see a lot of close-knit friendships. Um, you will be invited to a lot of social functions with uh, friends, family, dear loved ones. And I feel like there are a lot of changes happening in their homes. And so you're invited to these really beautiful functions to reconnect with families, reconnect with old friends, okay? So that's going to be like uh, in about four months' time, all right? Um, Sagittarius, things are actually on the uh, upswing. It doesn't feel like it right now, but I promise you, things will be in your favor very, very soon, okay? We want to just wait for this planetary transit to end, but I feel like there's a lot that you can do right now. You've come into this space of a lot of emotional, mental awareness. You're a lot more critical. You're a lot more like, um, I, I feel methodical. Before, it's like, I'll wing it and see what happens. And now you're like, let's have a plan A, B, C, D, E, etc. So I feel like that's a good thing. That's a really, really good, you know, way to plan for life, especially when it comes to those big, important um, events and choices, okay? So I wish you all the best.